Hello everyone and welcome in my living room. That's my new uh, filming spot right now. I kind of enjoyed it in here. If you're in here for the first time, hi, my name is Andrea Ali and I'm a professional makeup artist, but I love to apply makeup on myself in here. Today's video is going to be about new makeup that I've been receiving lately. And although I've created a lot of looks on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, check, check it out. YouTube is the place where I feel the most like myself. I feel like I can give you really in-depth explanation. On Instagram, when I see that circle, you know, going like, I'm like, I gotta talk fast. I gotta put all the information I can in like 15 seconds. And here, I, I love to take my time. And I love to review products just as much as I love to apply them. So this video, like I said, it's gonna be about this look and a bunch of new products. Gucci, Huda Beauty, Tom Ford, Dear Dahlia, By Terry, just a lot, a lot of new products. Now, if you're curious on how I've created this look and the products that I was using, then please keep on watching. I'm gonna start with this Abachi Lip Balm. This is an LA brand. They sent me this all the way to France, so I'm very grateful. I thought I should show it to you. It's a clean product. It looks like this, and I wasn't sure how to pronounce it. And then they said, well, it's abachi because it comes from the word baci, which uh, in Italian means kisses. This is based on a lot of oils, very moisturizing oils. Moving on with base. So I don't have a lot of products for the base, like new products. Uh, I just received this Bobbi Brown Extra Pink Glow Illuminating moisture balm and then the same thing but in bear glow and i think i'm going to use the pink glow this is probably the mini version if you hear the snoring my friend's dog alfie is here it's not my dog i know everybody thinks it's my dog it's not okay i'm gonna apply this mostly on the highest parts but then spread it pretty much like this is where i want the glow i don't want to have it in the center of my face it has no shimmer, no glitter, nothing like it. It just has um, like a super, super nice glow, you guys see? I've been using this product, which is not new. It's probably like, what, 10 years old? The Vitamin Enriched Eye Base from Bobbi Brown. Um, I love the Vi Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And I, I was posting when I received this product on my stories. And so many of you were like, oh my god, Andre, you have to try this. This is like... Holy grail. Okay. This is supposed to be like a super nice eye base. I've used this before already on stories. Um, and I really like it actually. The concealer glides on really nice. Then when it comes to foundation, I have no new foundation for you guys. I'm going to be using the Tom Ford the Traceless perfecting foundation in the color 6.5 but before i apply this because i i already know my skin so well i'll put just a pinch of this makeup forever this is not new but you know what we're doing a makeup routine so it's literally just a pinch of this oil control primer from makeup forever i love 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 how foundation lasts especially around the nose game changer game changer okay this is one foundation that personally i would not use it with a brush that has longer bristles um because it's the type of foundation that you want to work it into the skin it also dries very quick so and it sets so you want to work with it fast Thirty two s brush from misa any small synthetic round brush should work for this foundation. And I would not recommend you to use this with a beauty blender or just any sponge because uh, it, it will look a little bit heavy. I mean, maybe you like a little bit heavy, I don't know. You see, already dried in here. Like, I cannot move it. You know, once you apply it, it just stays in there. That's how I feel with this foundation. This is what the foundation looks like, really excellent. Normally, if I wouldn't have applied this under it, it wouldn't have had this glow. It's a more like a semi-matte finish foundation. You've seen me using it probably before. 
Unfortunately, I do not have any new concealers. So I'm gonna mix, actually. Uh, I will mix the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer 34S with a tiny bit of Touche Eclat from YSL. Now the reason why I'm mixing is because I, I want a little bit of brightness and I'm gonna use a tiny little beauty blender that is damp. Mm, I'll, I'll apply just a, a pinch more of the tart. Okay. So most of the product in the inner corner always in the inner corner of the eye and then with what's left on my sponge I get it on the chin to create like a little spotlight on the center of the face in between my eyebrows We've got a new powder in town. This is the Huda Beauty powder. Baby Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. So it says, pack under the eyes, T-zone, corners of the mouth and chin. <laughs> Let bake for three to five minutes. Dust the excess powder. If you've been on this channel before, you know that if baking works for you, that's awesome. But it just really does not work for me because I have wrinkles and stuff. So I'm just not gonna use it as a baking powder. Let's just see how it looks like as a normal powder. This has a super cute applicator on top. So when you first get the powder, it looks like this. And then has this little lid on top, twisted. And there you go, you have the applicator. It's super cute. Let's find my color. This, I have it in one, two, four, five. It's uh, available in five colors. I think my color is banana bread. Okay, first time I'm using this, right? And you know what? I'm just gonna let some powder out. I'm gonna use this applicator because I actually want to set my makeup around my nose, but I'm not gonna bake. Just gonna press this powder in here. So I don't know if you could see like where I've applied it right here immediately mattified and like blurred the pores but I'm telling you like another level for the under eyes I don't care what they say I'm gonna use it how I normally use the powder which is with a brush and I'm actually gonna use a super tiny brush first making sure the concealer didn't crease Always do that before setting your concealer with powder and then immediately bam, 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 bam. So far so good. Don't want to get too excited. I will press some powder in between my eyebrows. Wow, it's amazing how it immediately like mattifies everything. It's also because of this applicator. Every time you use a powder puff, to press the powder on top of your foundation. It's gonna be like magic. Most people would think that it will make your whole base look cakey. It won't. It actually, what the powder puff does, it presses everything you've used, like moisturizer, primer, foundation, everything being pressed together. It will last longer, it will look better. I've said this before, I really like it when I look straight, my face to be matte, but when I turn to have this nice glow. I know this is not exactly like last minute drop, but I haven't tried this eyebrow pencil from Huda Beauty on the camera and I wanted to show you now. This is like the tiniest, smallest pencil I've ever seen in my life. It's a retractable one and um, I've already tried it on the back of my hand. I suggest you, if you ever get this, don't let the product out too much because it will break. This is super, super fine. So you wanna make sure you leave the tip like just a tiny little bit. What's really awesome about this is that you can create the light strokes. I find that the color number five, medium brown, really, really nice. So let's fill them in. It, oh, I forgot to tell you that on the other side, it has the spoolie, which is always very, very useful. Babe, can you get super close? Oh, 
Now, I think on the tail, you're going to be able to see the difference. Check this out. And then with the other side, you just brush it through just to make sure it's nice, well spread. I think the color, first of all, it's perfection. And then the product itself feels really, really nice. I'm gonna set the eyebrows in place like I always do with the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. It's a step that I never ever skip. We have quite a few products for the eyes, but I'm going to start with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. Uh, so I normally never use an eye primer. I will use it for you because I know you guys always ask me about the eye primer. Always, always, always. Oh man, this is so light. Okay, I'm going to use it anyway. You know why I realize I don't I just don't like primers I would rather my whatever you know eyeshadow I use to be a little bit creased you know just a tiny little bit creased than to feel like I have like thick product on my eyelids because my eyelids obviously with age they get even thinner and a little bit more wrinklish uh, and the more product like quantity wise you apply the more old wrinklish and like suffocating almost looks like so I don't like that feeling of being suffocated with makeup I love makeup but in the quantities that make me feel comfortable if that makes any sense to you let's talk about eyeshadow and the latest drops this one is from by Redo. this is in collaboration with Isamaya French brilliant artist I'm trying to figure out the color this is in the color disco really beautiful colors I am not going to use this palette because I've already created a look which I'm going to put right here. You can find it on my uh, Instagram. It's super close as you can probably see. Also from them, um, they have this eyeliner in brown. It dries matte. This is what it looks like. The packaging is beautiful. It has that very stiff tip. And then they also uh, dropped a new mascara that is called Tears and Rain because it's a waterproof mascara. By the way, I think the name is genius. Love the packaging. Love this 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 really nice shape. It's just so interesting. It's so unconventional. I also wanted to show you this beautiful palette from Chantecaille. Chantecaille, it's, uh, it's a French brand. Very chic. They're all about saving animals and the whole Shantikai family they're philanthropists they like they like to give a lot for the animals i'm not going to use the palette but i want to show you the colors because they're really really pretty really not the best place to do swatches but i wanted to show you also the beautiful beautiful packaging this is called butterfly eye quartet I don't know if you guys know this brand, this is called Dear Dahlia and it's a luxurious vegan brand. I think it's Korean, I'm not sure. Uh, when I first presented you guys this brand on Instagram, a lot of you said that it, this is a copy um, of Fenty. No, it's not. Actually, this brand with this beautiful packaging, which is inspired by the Dahlia flower when it's in full bloom, was created before Fenty. And I'm sure no one copied anybody, okay? So it's just a coincidence. It happens. Beautiful palette. Again, I've created already a look with this. And I'm going to put a picture in here with the way it turned out. Huda Beauty has new eyeshadow palettes. I love this packaging. This, like, not necessarily the packaging as in how it looks but the format it's small it has nine colors um, I think she was the first one who created these I'm not sure but um, I keep on saying she because everybody knows who the beauty but you know it's the brand this one right here is chocolate brown super beautiful rich colors I think I'm gonna use this one I'm not sure 
and then this one right here this is caramel brown you get the same rich pigment that Huda Beauty always uh, has in her palettes and then this one right here it's in toffee brown I'm gonna use the chocolate brown and I will also use one of these two new pencils from Gucci so Gucci now uh, has makeup in case you didn't know and recently they have launched eye pencils and I only have two colors I have the amethyst and Bordeaux one is like a super nice metallic purple and the other one is like a metallic plum I'll take the color in the middle because it's a nice neutral color with a Misa 06 brush whenever you see the brushes with the orange handle they're from Misa and you have 10% discount if you use my code I'll put it in the description box So really beautiful neutral color. It's exactly what I wanted. And I will take this. This is another Misa brush, but it's from a different collection. And I'll get it at the outer corner. It's a super nice color base of the lower lashes super pretty color now I'm gonna take a clean blending brush from Misa so I did not apply that eyeshadow that second eyeshadow in the crease but because my eyes are deep set it looks like I have something dark in there it's just a shadow you guys of my of my eye shape now with this clean brush, I do nothing else but blend. I take that same brush from Misa and this time I'm getting the darkest color in the palette. And make sure I apply it on the outer part of the eye. You see that little a little shadow in there but I don't want it to be very visible I want it to look like a beautiful smoky so again I take that clean brush and blend I will take the retractable pencil from Gucci in the color Bordeaux and deepen out the outer corner and you know what I'm gonna connect it with the lower lash line create like a triangle you know what I'll apply it all along the lashes because the pencil being so thin, it allows me to create a super, super thin line. Okay, this is nice. I love this. It's like a nice, discreet makeup it's not too much now i'm going to use the pat mcgrath dark star mascara no idea if this is new to be honest but it's new for me the first time i'm going to try it so far i love the brush this is a natural looking mascara it doesn't feel like it's a too dramatic Okay, with the second layer, I can see the drama. Do you see the drama? You do? You don't? No? Okay. Let's insist. Nice. You know what, guys? Before um, I move on with mascara on the lower lashes, I realized that I just want... I feel like my eyes are too small, so I want... To make them look a little bit bigger so I'm gonna apply some eyeshadow in the crease 
I will mix this color right here that I've already used with this one right here, which is a bit warmer. Like right here. And the same under the eyes. Just a little bit more drama, you know? Since my hair is up, I think it's really working. I do see a change in the way the eyeshadow looks like on top of the primer. It's like um, blending super nice. It's very, very saturated. What is it that you would not like about this packaging, this product? However, these two, for example, two highlighters, two blushes, they're probably like $150 which just like my heart is pumping. This palette has pretty much everything. This is the new one from By Terry, the CC Palette Beach Bomb. Got a bronzer, two blushes, and a highlighter. So I'm going to use the bronzer first. Remember, I did not powder this part of the face. A little bit here and a little bit on the nose. Now for the blush, I'm going to use this color. It's very convenient to have all these in one place. Oh, this is so pretty. It has like a nice golden finish. Peach gold. Super pretty. And then with this color right here, I'm just gonna sort of highlight, but it's, I wouldn't call it a highlight, it's very, you see what it gives? It's like a sheen. Like, look at this. Look at this. Okay, officially, this is my favorite color in the palette. Now. Lipstick. You guys, there are so many lipsticks. <gasps> These are the new Air Matte lip colors from NARS. I'll put a picture in, in here with the swatches because I've already uh, did it on Instagram. They are super nice. It's like, you know the plush lipstick? That's how they are. They're not like crazy sucking the life out of your lips kind of matte. No. And they have super like super nice colors available. You guys know NARS, it's like spot on when it comes to colors. I think I've already talked about Huda Beauty new lipsticks. This is the Power Bullet uh, Cream lipsticks. A lot of brands actually now um, come out with this type of formula. Like for example, Chantecaille. Look at these lipsticks. The packaging is just insane, isn't it? Like so, so beautiful. These are the three colors right here, except uh, the very bright pink. The very bright pink, <laughs> it's actually this lipstick that I've tried earlier. This is from, this is from Jimmy Choo. <laughs> Jimmy Choo now has makeup. Ah, I forgot to talk about this product. This is so nice, you guys, so nice. From uh, Tom Ford, you have basically two products in one. This is a cream eyeshadow. It looks black, but it actually has golden uh, shimmer, very subtle shimmer. And then on top of it, you've, uh, you have the eyeshadow. I did create a look on Instagram. I'll put it in here. You see, I create a lot of looks on Instagram. You know, I'm not joking on my Instagram. So I think that if you're not following me in there, you're losing a lot of opportunities to see new makeup and new makeup looks. New lip liners from Huda Beauty, they're fantastic. It's one of those lip liners that you apply and they like, they're not moving. Gucci has a great formula. I don't know about the colors because this is the only color they have. Uh, it's a lip definer and nude. This is more the formula that I like. Although it's not as long lasting as Huda Beauty and definitely they, I'm sure they don't have colors as good as Huda Beauty. I just prefer this because I can smudge it, I can play with it, I can move it. With Huda Beauty lip liners, wherever you apply it, that's it. But let's try the Gucci because I also want to try their lipsticks. You'll see the lipsticks, the new ones from Gucci, they're like perfection. 
color is beautiful for this. I like to overline here on the cupid toe. Wow, this color is to die for, to die for, gorgeous. The new lipsticks from Gucci, they have a super, super pretty finish. I would say very similar with Huda Beauty lipsticks. And a lot of brands have that finish where it's like not a lip balm, it's not a lipstick, it's like a sheer, a hybrid. The difference between these uh, Gucci lipsticks and the Huda, the new Huda cream lipsticks is that Huda, they're a little bit more sticky. Now I have opened them, can you please come closer? Just so you guys see the colors. In here I've placed the more nude ones and in here more like reddish, pinkish. In the packaging they look like they're very saturated but I'm going to apply it and you'll see like they're very, very, very pretty. I'm gonna use this one. This is called Sally Soft Honey. Man, it works so well with the makeup as well exactly what I wanted this is so nice this is the look that I came out with using all the new products that I've received lately hope you enjoyed this let me know in the comments what were the products that I showed you that I haven't used that you want to see in like future videos you guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to follow me on Instagram I'll see you in my next one bye Oh, the baby woke up! Obi! Obi! He's not really my baby, but I pretend that he is. He's the one snoring, okay? He's snoring so loud. Louder than any person I have heard in my life. I love you! I love you too! Do I really have to touch his butt? If I touch his butt, I have to touch his balls. I don't want to do that. I'll be cheap. You're not gonna sleep in my bed tonight, no, because last time I was devastated. Say bye.